What's up guys, Challenge Chris here. Today, we're gonna to be picking the cheapest 40 mil padlock Buddings Warehouse hag. If you're overseas, Buddings Warehouse is just a big chain warehouse store, sort of like Costco. Now, I'm very inexperienced in the lock world, so I don't wanna really go into the technical details of what makes a good lock and security pins and all sorts of other things. What I wanna do is take a different track. I wanna look at the advertising that sucks people into buying these locks. And the reason that is, is advertising is all about taking advantage of your wants and needs. If they do it right, you will buy something like this. It has to coincide also with your budget. And it's a very clever way to get people to buy inferior products that won't work. And when it comes to security, the lock that you put on your shed could be worth a whole lot more than the $5 I spent buying this. Because at the end of the day, this $5 lock is designed to save you hundreds of thousands of dollars in tools, boats, cars, electronics, all sorts of stuff. So without further ado, what are you really getting for your $5? Right, so this is a Sienko lock. Uh, it is Chinese made and the advertising on the packet's quite interesting. Uh, what they've done is that, obviously it's cheap with this Saren Wrap plastic encasing the lock, but they've, they've done a couple of very clever things uh, that I would like to point out. First of all, their logo name. It, it's done in bold capital letters. Uh, it's got this nice hard beam running around it and automatically, especially with uh, the color of gold or yellow, uh, it brings brings to mind images of security. Uh, when you pick it up, the lock is quite heavy, uh, so it feels secure. You know, it's a brass body lock and it's got hardened written on the shackle. So automatically your brain's wired to think, oh, it, it's got a hard to get through shackle. It's weighty, so it'll be hard to bash apart. Um, and, and the logos we're going to watch is going to draw you into it. Um, now on the back, you've got the same sort of thing. They tell you it's a 40 mil padlock, they say it's a brass body, and they tell you that it has a hardened locking shackle. And then very, very small down in the bottom corner here, we have Made in China. Now from what I've watched on other people's lock picking YouTube channels, uh, that the Chinese locks aren't that great. Let's open it up and have a look at what we've got. There we go. There is our lock. Now, the first thing as an amateur lock picker, uh, if we look at that keyway there, it's very straight up and down. There's not really any protection for those pins at the top. I'm going to try a couple of different methods to pick this open. Uh, I want to try a kinetic attack on it. Uh, I want to try individual pin picking and I would like to try uh, what I call bumping. There's probably a different terminology for it. They're the three I showed in my first ever lock picking video. This is the first pick that I want to try on it. It uh, basically works just like the key. You insert it into the keyway there and you just rock it back and forth and eventually it should set the pins. For from what I can tell uh, from the keys, this is a five pin lock. Only got a nice cheap uh, $30 kit off eBay. So I haven't got the world's best lock pick and I am an amateur. And this is why I wanted to do this because if I'm an amateur and can get into your shed uh, very quickly, it's something to avoid. You're better off probably buying a more expensive lock. We will test this in the theory though, as we go on in this series. All right, so I feel like it's gonna turn Clockwise, that's the word I'm looking for. So I'll start with no tension at all. I'll just see if I can't get this pick in. I can just, so that keyway is actually quite tight for this size pick, a uh, tiny bit of tension. And I'm just gonna rock it back and forth. Uh, I think that pick might actually be too big for that keyway. Well, there you go. All right, so that's not gonna work. I'll take that out. Let's try the next pick. All right, we're gonna try the single diamond for a kinetic attack. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put it in first, get it up into that tight. It's actually got a little groove just there that's preventing my really fat, thick pick getting in and around it. So that's pretty cool. I mean, like not knowing much about lock picking, obviously that is somewhat of a defense mechanism for a very amateur like me. <laughs> Put a little bit of tension on it and we'll see if we can't kinetic attack this bad boy. Ah, oh, there you go, one and a half strokes and it came out. So the last thing we've got available to us, a single pin picking, we've had success with the kinetic attack. It worked on one and a half little rakes. Um, we could obviously do a raking attack on it as well, but we'll go with the picking, let's see.
Oh, got it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Obviously, I am a rank amateur when it comes to individually picking um, locks one pin at a time. Now, it is the next day after filming that lock picking video, and I've been fiddling with this to try and get... Uh, better at opening this lock quicker and I've discovered something else. This is an unshielded padlock So whilst I was able to single pin pick it in a minute and a half and I was able to kinetic attack it in just a couple of seconds I can do a whole lot better than that locked keys on the um, old lock tension wrench in standard pick In push it all the way to the back of the key chamber and then we just push and it pops straight open and that's because it is unshielded unguarded so there is no strip of metal running along the top there they've just bored straight down put the the keyway in and now i can get this pick up there into that tension spring and unpop that lock every single time without even trying so locked in up push open easy as that well, there you go. That's the Sienko lock, um, and I managed to pick the first part with a kinetic attack in just a couple of strokes, a couple of seconds, and I had this thing open. Uh, individually pin picking, which is the slowest method, and I have never done a padlock before, and I managed to get in there, be able to feel each individual pin and, and the resistance that was on them, which I, I was surprised. I thought it was going to take me a long time to get that feedback, and I managed to pop that lock open in three minutes. Uh, I'm sure a, a professional lock picker could do that a hell of a lot quicker. But that's what we have for the first lock. That was the cheapest 40 mil lock that Budding's Warehouse sells. And a rank amateur can pick it in seconds if I use a kinetic attack. So probably not worth your money if you were uh, relying on this to protect your boat. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you like my channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Right, peace guys, I'm out.